This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Carbonite. Welcome back to another episode of Rumor Roundup. If you don't have the time to follow all the crazy tech rumors of the world, we will condense them, mash them, bash them into one video telling you everything you need to know. Up this week, iPhone 5S production is allegedly already underway. Samsung's prepping a 5.9 inch Galaxy Note 3. Alleged AT&T Galaxy S4 screenshots of Surface showing a few interesting tidbits and Google might be gearing up for war against Amazon Prime. This is Rumor Roundup. I'm your host, John Rettinger. Let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> iPhone 5S production is allegedly already underway at Foxconn. They've supposedly started just about a few weeks ago. Historically, Apple keeps the same body between each yearly upgrade to the device, which means they really won't have that much to deal with from a manufacturing standpoint. We're expecting a faster processor at the very least and probably a boost in memory and storage, and that's probably going to be about it. The latest rumors suggest that Apple will launch the device sometime in August. This isn't the first time, though, we've heard that Apple's production will begin in March, back in January, actually. Jeffrey's analyst Peter Misick, whose track record is sh pretty shaky to say the least, predicted that production would actually start this month. At that same time, Misik also suggested the device will launch in June or July. So if you thought the transition from 5.3 inch Galaxy Note to 5.55 inch Galaxy Note was big, wait till I tell you Samsung is allegedly prepping a 5.9 inch Galaxy Note 3. At this point, it's becoming just a tablet. You might as well just like just hold the giant iPad to your face. A fresh report from the Korea Times quotes an unnamed Samsung executive. They said that the firm is working on a phablet with a 5.9 inch screen to compete with similar recently launched device by Huawei and ZTE. And so 5.9 inches is crazy. It was already hard enough to fit a 5.5 inch phone in your pants. I'm not sure how they're going to do 5.9, maybe shrink the bezels completely and just make it a little bit bigger. It's certainly not a device for everybody. I love big screen phones. It looks like Samsung's going to be giving us big screen phone lovers something to lust after come IFA time around October. Despite a number of leaks, we're still not 100% positive what the Galaxy S4 is gonna look like, which I kinda like for a change. It's nice to not know exactly what things are going to be when they finally get announced. Earlier in the week though, we got some pictures which might provide a glimpse of what internal software is gonna be on the AT&T variant. Here's what we do know. The phone's very likely to offer Android 4.1 point whatever's gonna be at at the time, Jelly Bean. Samsung's custom TouchWiz, which they sometimes call an H or UX user interface. We can see the icons have changed just a little bit, and there are also new menu options. Android Central dug through the menus and noticed a smart scroll feature. It would confirm reports we've been able to use our eyes to scroll through websites and other pages. And finally, the system page confirms rumored specs of a full 1080p display, 5-inch screen, 13 megapixel camera, 1.7 gigahertz quad core processor. All rumors and all veil of speculation will be lifted. In just a few short days, we will be at attendance at Samsung's press conference on March 14th. So of course, stay tuned for more information. So Google is allegedly prepping a new shipping service aimed at taking on Amazon Prime, supposedly called Google Shopping Express. Service is going to undercut Prime by 10 to 15 smackaroos while offering the same delivery from local retail stores. It's unclear when and if Express will launch publicly, but Google employees may already be testing the service out. TechCrunch said, and I quote, we're hearing that the product is being run by Tom Fallows, an e-commerce product manager at Google, and is an effort to focus on Google's e-commerce initiatives. Google Express will apparently tie Google Wallet and Google Shopping together in beautiful harmoniousness. We're not sure if brick and mortar stores are gonna participate. TechCrunch speculates the partners will include nationwide retailers such as Target, Walmart, Walgreens, and Safeway. Google previously acquired Bufferbox for delivery lockers and channel intelligence for coordination adding more credence to the online to offline service. Amazon has its own delivery locker service too and also offers similar benefits with Prime, including access to instant streaming movies, library, books, and a ton more. A service cheaper than Prime is a pretty exciting idea, but now we really have no idea it's actually gonna come to fruition. But it certainly sounds kind of fun, and when companies compete, you and me, we win because to make things get better, we get more value, we get more services uh, for our money. So what are you guys thinking of all these rumors? What do you want the most? iPhone 5S, Galaxy S3, Galaxy S4, this crazy new same day service. It'd be sort of weird to buy something online and just have it show up the same day. Uh, but it would be kind of cool to have it happen. I want to hear from you. So let me take a minute, thank our friends and sponsors at Carbonite.com. With Carbonite, getting lost files back is super easy. 
Your employees, friends, families, acquaintances can even access their backed up files on any computer or smartphone or iPad with the free Carbonite app. For a low flat annual fee, Carbonite keeps your business protected no matter how many computers you have or where they're located. Start your free trial, no credit card needed at all, at Carbonite.com, enter offer code TECHNO, saying you get two free months if you decide to buy. Again, that's Carbonite.com and the offer code is TECHNO for two free months. Thank you guys for watching another episode of Rumor Roundup. I'm your host, John Rettinger. Check us out at technobuffalo.com. Give this video a thumbs up. We certainly appreciate it. I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, my God. oh I have call waiting.